Hi, I'm Duke Williams, and thanks for taking a few minutes of your time to see the wonderful things waiting for you at CapData Accord. You'll be able to find all Accord forms plus many other forms. You'll be able to combine forms into one large form. You can fill in all the forms on screen. Then you can print, fax, or email those completed forms and attach them. You can save the completed forms and reuse them later. You can build an entire customer database. And CapDat Accord includes a complete and powerful document management system for all your document needs. But there's still more. You get instant access 24-7, 365. You get access from any internet connection anywhere in the world. Plus you get unlimited use by an unlimited number of users. All for one small fee. Now you say that sounds great, but right now I need one form and I need to fill it out for someone who needs it right now. How do I do that? First you click on blank forms and that takes you to a folder tree of all the blank forms. There are three ways to find the forms. The first is the folder tree. You just open up the folder that looks like it makes sense, highlight the form, double click it, and you're off. The second method of finding a form is through search. You click on the search tab and in the search text box you enter whatever makes sense to you. We're going to put in certificate and click search and it comes up with all the certificates that we have to choose from. The third and final way to find a form is through our patented knowledge base. We're the only place that you can be told which forms you need to use. We're starting with North Carolina here. Clicked on our knowledge base tab, select North Carolina, select business auto, and we'll click find and it comes up with a list of the required forms for this application and the optional forms. To build these out into a combined group of forms so we have only one form to send to our underwriter, We'll highlight the forms one at a time and click Add them to the list. We'll work our way down the list. This takes all of these forms and makes them into one larger PDF. The advantage of your underwriter having just one form to work with is supplemented by also information you enter in one form flows through into the other form so you don't have to re-enter it. If you put things in the wrong order, just highlight it and click Move Up or Move Down. And to open the forms, you click on Open Form. The form will open. If you've used the profiles to fill in information, it will pre-fill that information. Otherwise, you put your cursor where you want to type in the typing boxes and type in. Or you put your cursor over the check boxes or radio buttons and you click on those to create a check. That's all there is to filling out the form. Next, most people want to print out the form. So you click on the printer icon or the print option from the drop-down menu. It opens your Windows print driver. You select the printer that you want to print to, click print, and out comes your printed completed form so that you don't have to put all the information in again to reuse the form you want to save it. Click on submit forms, highlight the folder you want to save it into. If you don't already have a folder you can create one at this point. Type in the name that you want to save the form under and click save. The program comes up and tells you what the forms have been saved as, the folder it's saved in. It gives you the option of continuing working on it or going to the folder that you've put the form into. To send an email to the form, you highlight the form that you want to send an email to. You notice when you hover over the form, it shows you all of the forms that are in that saved form. Then you click on the Email tab. Normally, we'd send it as an attachment. That keeps it flat and people can't change it. It asks if you want to do it as a PDF or a CSV, which is an Excel spreadsheet file. Normally, you'd send it as a PDF. We're also going to add a picture, just so you can see you can add other attachments to this. And this would be a picture of the truck the application's for. Now we're going to skip ahead. The addresses can be pre-filled from other things. All you do is you pre-fill the other information, you click send the email, and the email is gone. So here's what the email looks like when it arrives. It has a picture of the truck that you've attached as an image, and if you click on the PDF file, it opens up the PDF as a frozen form so you can see exactly what it looks like, and people can print it out or save it or upload it to their document management system. I mentioned earlier you can get a lot of information pre-filled from profiles. This is what your profile would look like. You fill it in when you first set up your program. You can change it anytime you need to. You can also set up profiles for each and every one of your clients. Here's a client list of profiles. If you highlight one in the list, the information about that client appears below and you can change that or modify it, save it. This is used to pre-fill forms. You can create a new profile simply by clicking on new and entering the information for the new customer. While our database has a tree and folder structure, we also let you build your own structure through tags, notes, and descriptions. Tags allow you to highlight a form and type in a word or a phrase for a tag 
and then you can do a search on that and you can find all forms that have the same tag. So if you wanted to find all the forms that renewed in June, you could tag a form with June and then do a search for June tags and you'd have your renewal list. You can do the same thing with notes and descriptions. You can type in notes that tell you something else about the customer. So with our database and using these forms, you can see the connections between a customer and other customers you have or other organizations that they belong to so that you can see a fuller picture and a richer picture of your customer base than a typical management system will allow you to see. As a fully functional document management system, Cap Data Cord allows you to load any other forms, documents, pictures, etc. into the folders that you need to for storage. So you browse your desktop, highlight the form that you want to load, click on upload the form, and wham, it's right there in the folder that you want it to be in. Here's what it looks like once you put it in the folder. It shows up in that folder. You click on it and highlight it. It opens up as a picture. Darn, a minivan. I was hoping I got a Porsche. And finally, our search function gives you the ability to search and find things and run reports to your heart's content. For instance, we'll type in June to tags, assuming we've tagged all the renewals for June as June. Click on search, and here's a list of everything that had a June tag. Well, thanks for your time. You can see there are lots of great things with Cap Data Cord. You can buy online right now. If you have more questions, you can email me or call myself, Duke Williams, or Nell Hammock at this 800 number. Thank you very, very much.